And welcome back. Roy Rickster joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment, sponsored by the Resource Center. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Thanks for having me on. Now, we're going to be talking about Social Security, disability, things like that today, right? That's correct. I wanted to come on and talk a little bit. One of the main questions I get from folks is, how much money will I draw if I become eligible for Social Security disability benefits? So that's kind of the discussion for today. Um, so what Social Security does is it takes our earnings throughout our lifetime and it converts our 1999 earnings to $2,022. So we're comparing apples to apples. Mm -hmm. And then they work basically on benchmarks to replace part of those earnings. So for example, uh, roughly the, the first $1,000 of our average earnings from this calculation of the years that we worked, right. Social Security pays 90% of the first $1,000 to folks. Um, between $1,000 and $6,000, Social Security pays 32% of those. So they add those two numbers together. And then between $6,000 and the upper limit of the Social Security um, taxable rate, they pay essentially 15%. So we add these percentages together. The more money you make throughout your lifetime, the more money that you're eligible for when you draw. Sure. So it's all based on determining what your average earnings were for your lifetime and then replacing that based on that 90, 32, and 15% as we move up through the categories. How, how okay, you're, you're talking about all these percentages and keeping track of money that you've made for, you know, however many years you have been uh, putting your money into the Social Security system. How do you keep track of all of this stuff? Well, and we have a slide here if we can advance. Um, so here's the percentages that we talked about before. Okay. And Social Security tracks our earnings through the IRS, through data matches, and they keep track of all that for us. And so they do the calculations in the background. Uh -huh. um, so the next slide here will show is just kind of a chart that gives us a little bit of information about different benchmarks. So you see across the bottom our average monthly indexed earnings compared to how much money we would draw on the left side, the primary insurance amount. So you can see that a $2,000 average earner per month is going to draw about $1,200, $1,300 in Social Security. As we move up to more like a $6,000 a month average earner, we're going to have earnings that are more in the $2,400-ish range when we draw our Social Security benefits back out of the system. Social Security tracks all of it. They keep track of it for us. Right. And what's important for us is that they have a website, mysocialsecurity.com, and that replaces the paper statements that we used to get in the mail around right. our birthdays. Sure. They replace that with an online portal. And so MySocialSecurity.com, you can go in, register for the account. It'll list all of your earnings. It'll tell you your payment amounts. It does all of this hard work for you so that you know what it is you'll draw if you have to draw. And this, this, these numbers also then change with time. So if, if something has been sitting still for a couple of years, you know something's not being updated? Yeah, so it's really important that you go look at the MySocialSecurity.com account. And there's a couple reasons for this. One, you want to make sure that your employer has been posting your earnings. Mm -hmm. um, I've had situations in the past with clients to where employers weren't paying payroll taxes mm -hmm. uh -huh. and they didn't update your earnings to Social Security. So you could have a gap in your earnings record that's not accurate. I also years ago had a gentleman, um, him and his wife ran a, a contracting company doing concrete work. Mm -hmm. He did the work, she kept the books. She turned in all of the company's earnings to her Social Security number and none to his. Wow. And so when it came time for him to draw disability, he had no account mm -hmm. to draw against. Is that able to be all sorted out? So yes and no. Um, Social Security allows us a funny standard, three years, three months, and 15 days from when our earnings post to contest them. After three years, three months, and 15 days, you're out of luck. You're out of luck. Wow. Yeah. So it's real important you go in and you look at your earnings record. A lot of people don't. It also give you insight if somebody else has been working under your social security number. Mm -hmm. um, if you've been a victim of identity theft, which for can example, happen, right. which can happen. And you want to make sure that you get credit for all the earnings and the money you paid into the system. So this is important no matter where you are on your journey to retirement that you That's might correct. want to start looking now and keep track of that. That's correct. Whether you're filing for disability, if you're planning ahead for retirement, if you're younger workers like yourself and I, and, and Tom too, of course. Of course. <laughs> Um, you want to uh, go in, I like this guy. <laughs> you, you want to pop in and you want to look because you want to make sure that you get credit for the money that you paid into the system and that you're not surprised if you ever have to draw from the Social Security program. Well, I mean, we have talked, you know, uh, over the years with Resource Center, so many ways that they can help. Can you help mm -hmm. people walk through this? 
I mean, I'll, I'll say possible minefield because you never know what might be out there. Yeah, so, you know, we can tell people to enroll for their My Social Security account, look at their earnings, make sure that their payment amounts look like they should, mm -hmm. that they jive. More importantly, we try to help folks to qualify for their Social Security disability benefits. That's my primary role over there, but this is part of that. Um, you know, once you get approved for those benefits or you're seeking them, you want to make sure that you're getting a fair shake. This is a and lot so to navigate, and yeah. so thankfully you're there to help us. That's why you have the expert. Yes. All right. And then on Thursdays, we have the Disability Process 101 workshops, free seminar. We talk about tips, tricks, the Social Security process yeah. in general. And the QR code invite, right there. Yeah. Invite folks to come in. Um, I would ask that you call us at the 882-1800 RSVP. want to make sure everybody has a place to sit. All right. okay. um, but we cover some of these things, talk in greater detail about the program and what to watch for. All right. Thank you so much. Rick, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back.